that was an eclipse. Mm -hmm. Wow. I I had I had a more mundane problem. I uh, my power cable got a broke, got a got a rip in it, and it. Yeah, so I got that this morning. Yeah. I I, I don't know. They they got it for me. They, yeah, this is a school laptop, so it is not cheap at all. It is not. Yeah, I'm taping right now. Yeah, it's, I'm not saying anything bad. Yeah. Harmage said he thought maybe 120 for this. He didn't know exactly. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be taping now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it, you know, it's it's one of those things. Yeah. Notice I did not. I kept a. In, in fact, we can re we can rewind this. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is everything okay? Do do I need to call security or <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have them on some but not this one. <laughs> Like if there was a, if there was a, yeah, if there was like an agitated student and I was concerned, I could like just double click on an icon. Yeah, she was, yeah, she had heard, reviewed, reviewed his transcripts and. I'm fortunate. I've had, I knock on wood, I've had good luck with students. I had, yeah, right, right. I had, uh, I, had a, I had a student that was rude, I would say. Like, you know how sometimes I go over the end of class, you know. They, like, got up and said something about, you know, it's 10 till, or something like that, told me. And it's like, look, if you need to leave, then leave. But these people are interested, you know. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's like the way I see I'm giving you value for your money. Right, right, right. All right, we should probably talk about our subject today. I had an idea over the weekend, all right, of what we could do instead of a final exam. You like the sound of it? Good. Okay. What I was thinking of is we could duplicate <laughs> duplicate the functionality of the game set. No, 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 no. Final exam. 
No, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear, hear me out before you panic. I thought blackjack was too easy, was a walk in the park, was fun. I figured this would be barrels of laughs. Well, no, you, he said it's that. Now he's... So we do not have to do a complete game. Here's what I'm thinking of. And, and I'll explain the game in a second because I know there's someone watching the video if they haven't turned it off by now. And I know that I don't think Sam uh, heard the rules of the game. But in, in, <laughs> in essence, you, you try to get what are called sets of cards. All right? And we'll talk about what the criteria of what makes it a set or not. But what I was thinking, my first pass is, my first pass I'm thinking of, is we could randomly pick three cards out of the deck and ask the user, is this a set or not? All right? Just, is this a set? Yes or no? Okay, so that was the first pass, and that's where I thought we could, we could start. After that, we could look at going in a couple different directions. One of the different directions was that we could allow the user to punch in a car, three cards and then have the program say if it's a set or not. So you could say, you know, a red circle, a green triangle and a blue squiggly. Is that a set? You know, and it would say yes or no. And then I thought we could do where we, and then possibly the third iteration, we could do possibly a grid of them and you'd pick three cards and it would tell you if the three cards you picked. Now we could stop at any point on there depending on time. We don't have tons of time left, right? We have this week, this class, and next class, Thursday. We have the following week, we just have a Tuesday class, right, because of Thanksgiving. And then the following week after that, we only have a Tuesday class. So we don't have a lot of time, but um, I, I wanted to throw this out there because in my mind, this would be more fun than a, than a final exam. This would give you a chance to play together and play cards instead of listening to me lecture and all the things that make coming to school good. You could do it as a group project, yeah. 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 Yeah, you would have to submit your own, yeah. If you wanted to do that, that's fine, yeah. And you can, you can carve it up any way you like. How about that? I was thinking, and we can talk a little bit about the design. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you guys talk about the design. Let me talk about what makes a set, though. There are... Yeah. Okay, there are that have. Do you know how Bill? You know why Bill Murray did the Garfield movie? A lot of people wonder why it is. Pardon me. No, because. The director's name is Cone, and he thought it was the Cone Brothers directing it. Oh, I remember reading that. Yeah, and it's like, you know, but as it turned out, it's just some guy that has a similar name. All right, there are four attributes of each card. Gee, it almost sounds like we're starting OO design on this, right? There is the color of the card, and they are red, green, and purple, right? Red, green, and purple. There is the shape of the card, or the shape of the shapes on the card. There are ovals, diamonds, and a squiggly shape. There is the um, number of symbols. There's one, two, or three. And finally, there is the filled inness shading. Hollow, fully shaded, or partly shaded. 
That gives a total of 81 cards because it would be 3 to the 4th power. All right. So let's look at some of these cards. All right. There's two cards. There is, and it is, yeah, that's purple. Hard to see what it is? Yeah, that one's purple and shaded. Uh, it, what is it, too dark, too bright? Okay. We'll try to, well, but for the people that don't know, okay. Okay. So, a card is, uh, three cards make a set. And a, card, uh, a set is one of two possibilities. One possibility is that all, for all four attributes, all three cards for each attribute the attributes have to match or the attributes have to all be different. So, this is a set. Why is this a set? Color, all purple, so they all match. Shape, oval, they all match. Number, they're all different, one, two, and three. And then finally, the shading, they all match. So for each attribute you look, and it needs to be all of them have the same value for that attribute, and or all of them have a different value. Would this be a set? No. Why not? Well, they don't all have a different color. All right, and and they also do not have the same all have the same color. So they don't have all the same color or all the different color. They don't have all the same shape or a different shape. Two of them have the same shape, one of them's different. All right. Let's put another one out here. Okay. Is this a set? No. Why not? Same number. So the number attribute matches for all of them. The sh each one of them has a, is a different shape. So that's valid. Yes? All right. The numbers match, so that's good. All three have different shapes, so that's good. All three of them have a different level of shading, so that's good. The problem is, is one of them's green and the other two are purple. All right? So, they don't, as far as the color attribute goes, they're not all the same or all different. So each of the attributes, all the same or all the different. And if for all four attributes, that attribute either has all the same value or all different values, then it's a set. So that's, yeah, that's what I'm looking through. This would be a set. No, it would not. I need the squiggles. I thought, I, yeah, I was looking for the ovals. Uh, 
he is going to watch the video and then tell me. Yeah, the student's actually enrolled in this class, but he, he plays on the basketball team, so he, he has practice around this time. So he's sort of taking it like an online class. Yeah. Oh, is that the kid that's the back? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Is this a stat? Yes, it is. Why? Number attribute. All the same. So the number attribute passes. Shape attribute. All different. So the shape attribute passes. Build in the attribute, shading attribute, all three different. So it passes that. And then finally, color attribute, all different. So all four attributes hit the condition of all matching or being all different. What I'm proposing in the first pass is there's 81 cards. Randomly pick three cards, and then let the user say, this is a set, this is not a set. So should be buttons, radio buttons, drop down, whatever you want to do. That, that's what I'm proposing for the first round to go in. All right? Then we can talk about the next round next. What classes do you see? Let's, let's talk a little bit about the design of this. Oh, you guys want to talk about that on your own? Okay. All right, fair enough. What classes do you see? A deck class? All right. All right. Now, the board we would need a board when we get around to doing more extensively. For the first pass, I don't think we need a board. Yeah, I think you need a hand. I almost think that we can incorporate into the hand the is a set function. Right? Because that's the only rule for the first pass anyhow that we're interested in. Is this a set or is this not a set? All right. What would the deck look like? It would be suspiciously like the array for the blackjack game, right? It would be suspiciously like that class. The only difference is when you generate the cards that go in there, you're generating them on different attributes instead of number and suit, color, um, um, shading, uh, number, and the shape. Well, well let's talk about that. Because remember, we can do this incrementally. All right, we don't have to do this all at once. All right. Um, so that's what a deck is. You should be able to generate a deck. And what other methods would you have on the deck? Shuffle and deal. All right. So to give the three cards, you deal. Give me the first card. Give me the next card. Give me the third card. What would be in a hand? Or let, let's back up. What would be in a card? What, what methods would be, what attributes slash methods would be on a card? Okay, initializing them um, how? Right, right, you'll, in, you'll initialize, the yeah, the array will be in the deck, all right, and you'll create a card, all right, but what attributes are on the card itself?
Right. Right. There'll be the four. Right. Ex exactly. There'll be four attributes, again, cleverly named, almost like I did this on purpose. Four attributes of the card class will be color, shape, number, and shading. And as Norm said, Norm made a good point, I would define these in the constructor, all right? Because it does not make sense to have a card, you know, there's no like blank cards, or there's no card that starts out with one thing and changes to something else. When, it, when the card is created, it gets created with these attributes. All right. What's in a hand class? Okay. Well, how, how many of them? In this game, though, a hand is what is Right. So it's going to have multiple Well, it's going to have, it, actually, it's going to have. The way that I'm thinking of this, three random cards and do that. Three cards, right? It, what? No, well, and no, and that's great because what we would do, how would that work? There would be a player class that would have an array list of hands. All right? So it's not that what you, you know, it, it's that you were thinking on the layer above that, all right, to thinking for a more expanded game. But there would be something that would represent, as you said, the group of three cards, which we can call a hand. And what would the hand have as attributes? Well, it would have an array list of three cards, all right? Um, you, might, you, you actually probably don't even need an array list, right, because a hand... It is by definition three cards, so you could simply have card A, B, and C, all right, or one, two, three. You need a set card to say, to, in other words, if you think, you know, um, in this case, you're going to um, randomly get dealt this, but if you're playing the game, you're going to be touching the cards and say, I want this card, this card, and this card, and that's a set, all right? And... That's how you'll form the hand. So set card one, set card two, set card three, or something like that. Um, what else will we need on the, car, on, on the hand method? Something to say, is this hand a set? Does this, is this hand a legal set? And so, so that'll be a method that will go through and look to see for each of the four attributes of the three cards, do they all match? Are they all different? Yeah. Right. There's no duplicate cards, right? Yes.
paper scissors is how to which way you go. And I was trying to think how to do this in a way to do it mathematically. Right? So if I find this one a value one, this one a value two, this one a value of three, one would always be greater than the other, and one would always be less than the other. But if you come back around that, then you come back around to the one again, where that one's greater than x, and x is greater than three. So there's really no way to do it mathematically. But that's what Alan's trying to do with this. It's like, if you come up with a way to say, if you have this combination of x to be on this, it gets this value. And if this one has a, has a similar combination, it gets the same value. Those numbers are the same. So that means they're not expected to work. Those are the same. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil you guys' as fun. All right. Let me just say. Uh, let me just say this about that to do my Richard Nixon impersonation. Um, I'm not a crook, right? I just remember that whoever impersonated him on laughing or something always said, "Let me say this about that." I don't know if Nixon ever really said that or not, but the impersonator did. At any rate, the algorithm to, te te to test each individual attribute. Is it different? The, 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 the each partial test, is it different? What's, what's the test for what's the test for color? All the same color? All the different color. So color one equals color two, color one equals color three, or Color one not equal to color two, blah, 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 blah. What's the test for shape? Same thing, except we're not talking color, we're talking about shape. So, the code should be, the, 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 the test to determine if the color attribute is part of a set and the shape attribute is essentially the same test. It's just with one you're testing shape, with one you're testing color. All right, that's all I'm going to say, I think, if you can believe that. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Okay? All right. At this point, I would say, do you have any other questions, comments? Are you really? Uh, Sam, really? All right. What I suggest now, you guys can organize yourself. If you want to use GitHub, that's fine. If you want to use some other mechanism, that's fine. You could, you could, no, next week is Thanksgiving. You could look and say, deck, hand, UI, card, each get one apiece. Oh, you could. I'll let you self, I'll let you self organize that. All right? I think we should play cards now. If anyone wants a second cupcake, go ahead. Why are you looking at me when you say that? No, but, but, I knew that as soon as you brought out that next card, you started to see the first card. So I enjoyed that. I just finally watched that card. So it's a good thing. Okay. All right. All right, uh, well, I will finish recording now, and we'll, we should play cards because I will tell you, Sam, if it's confusing you, it was confusing to me, the game, watching it for like the first 20 minutes. It was like, you got to see it to, to really understand.
We're not even doing the board. The yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what, if, if really, you know, I don't want to pressure you to do this. If you want to sit in on this and watch it and... Okay. All right. All right, let's deal out. Let's play some cards.